It's a young competitive swimmer in our area who has to deal with an extra challenge that others do not have to deal with. Our Tom Lydon caught up with David Tolstica at Eastern Michigan's pool. The ambient sound of a swim practice. Coaches on the deck, kids in the water, we take it for granted. To David Tolstica, this is what it sounds like. David, a 15-year-old from Brownstown, mysteriously lost his hearing over the course of the last year. Our first doctor advised us that it would come back with the initial treatment, and then by the beginning of June, middle of June, the second doctors at the U of M told us that he was going to go profoundly deaf. How does a deaf person answer this clearly when asked how he reacted to the loss of his hearing? At first I was scared because I didn't know exactly what it was going to be like, but it's just a change in my life now and I've adapted and gotten used to it. With the aid of a cochlear implant, David can hear out of his right ear, but it's not waterproof, so when he's in the water, nothing. Some doors have opened for David through this ordeal. He's been invited to compete in Portugal at the World Deaf Swimming Championships this July. An incredible opportunity to travel internationally and spend more time in the pool, where he feels most comfortable. It takes away the feeling of, I can't, and it makes it feel like I can do anything. One thing that's remained constant is David's sense of humor. At one point, his mom said, don't worry, honey, we're going to get you through this. To which David responded, what? Don't worry, Dad's going to buy me a Porsche? <laughs> <laughs> Laughter goes a long way. In Ypsilanti, Tom Lydon, Channel 7 Sports. What an absolutely terrific young man yeah, that is. Like yeah. Good right. spirits. You bet. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Dad.